But today we're going to be looking at the Sublime set. I do apologize that these are going to be with the white glow on because unfortunately, I think I mentioned this in a, in a previous video, but I'll mention it again. Uh, unfortunately, the white glow version is still the base look for the Warlock. So they did fix it technically, but unfortunately the Warlocks were, hey, they have a bug where theirs just didn't work. So instead of just doing the non-glow for the Hunter and Titan, and in the glow for the warlock i just decided to combine all of them so that way it can be equal i guess so that is unfortunate because the white glow does take a huge portion of the armor specifically for the warlocks it's so much so i do apologize but before this event is over because i'm pretty sure this is the last week i would highly recommend you guys to pick this armor up because it is really good not only for the hunters or titans but everyone everyone is everyone ate well this this event because we'll talk about it when we look at the armor sets but this armor is so cool probably one of my not mm, that's hard because there's a lot of good solstice armor but this is up there with some of the best solstice armor because there's at least two to three pieces that you're going to be like i can definitely utilize this so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed so give me do me a favor like comment sub hit the bell notification because that also does help quite a bit but other than that, let's look at the Sublime set. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the Hunters, Titans, and then Warlocks. Hunters, here's your set. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right off the bat, um, I like everything aside from the class item. I think the class item is the weakest portion from this whole set. But dog, the helmet, dope. Arms, dope. Symmetrical, also. Uh, boots, dope. Also symmetrical. Chest piece, dope. Also symmetrical. So I absolutely fucking adore this armor it's legitimately one of my favorites right now especially like if i were to tell you like one of my favorite pieces it's the chest piece i think the chest piece has so much potential to do some cool things with it and i'm beyond hyped to use it especially now that we have the non-glow version but uh it also looks good whether you're a male or a female i think both genders look really good with it now in order to obtain this again base and white glow set available during the solstice event, event for free so you don't have to buy this if you just want the armor without a glow all you got to do is talk to eva and she'll get you started on the path to get this armor now granted it is a little annoying to get this armor but that being said it is relatively straightforward all you have to do is complete some bounty like activities like one of the one of the bounties are like either use a a solar subclass or prismatic and then do like orbs then it's not hard i promise you can de get it done within like for me i was able to get it done within a day for each class so three days in total you could probably be faster than me considering there are bounties that give you different um i guess pro progress there's one that gives you five points there's some that give you 15 and then the biggest one which is if i remember correctly 50. so if you have a group of friends and you keep getting the 50s you can complete it within two of those bounties or like me you can complete it with a bunch of the bounties with the 5 and 15s which is what i did so yeah getting the armor is not annoying it's just the fact that you have limited time especially now since this art this video should be going up by thursday which is tomorrow for me which means you have friday saturday and sunday and monday so I would definitely recommend this armor. Like it is really, really cool. Also, I should point this out. The subclass glows are available for $15 in the Eververse store or for Bright Dust as well. Now, the cool thing is if you do miss out on this armor, unfortunately, you will miss out on the base look and the white glow. Those two are only available during the Solstice event. You can't get this armor back retroactively, which is kind of annoying but you still can get the subclass glows next year. So if you do miss this armor, but you're like, fuck it, I just want the armor, I don't care about the glows, you can get the sub subclass glows next year. I would just highly recommend just get this armor now because it is amazing. So Hunters, yeah, I really like this set. Um, I think the helmet's gonna be super dope with some sets, especially like some noir type Hunters. Um, arms are really cool because they are symmetrical and that's gonna be really, really cool. The chest piece, I think, is. Well, not think. I, it is my favorite. Boots, I think, are really cool as well. As for how it shaders, thankfully, it shaders really well. I, obviously, you can't really tell with all the glows, but 
Thankfully, a lot of the pieces are taking colors that I'm very happy with. The only thing that I do find annoying is the fact that the chest piece, specifically that plate in the chest, does uh, it changes color. It just changes to, the, to an off color, which is kind of annoying. But that would be the only gripe I would have with it because everything else shaders really well. So if you are wondering how it shaders, thankfully it shaders. As for the Titans, I cannot gush about this armor enough helmet banger chest piece banger boots banger arms banger i think the mark is the only thing that i'm not a fan of just because it kind of looks a little bit boring that being said it still looks pretty cool it's just not as good as everything else so the same thing with the hunters i think the male and females both ate really well um, usually the titans either have too bulky of arms or the females have too smaller arms but this seems just right like the male titans the arms are not too big which is really good and for the females it's not too small either so it looks really really good and again like i said this armor is only available for like five days or four days i don't remember how many days i said so i would recommend it because again if you get the base look all of the glows are gone and a lot of this armor is going to be really cool and if you are wondering the glows that that's not like a decal that's just a glow so the actual armor is just naked there is no decal on that so that is another great thing about this armor set is the fact that there is no decal there is no annoying thing like that which means that once you get this armor it's just the armor nothing else no decal which is really really cool because again this armor is really cool as for how it shaders it's the same thing as the hunters i'm really happy that it, this all this shaders well it's just the plate on the actual chest or underneath the coat We'll take the off color. Other than that, I like a lot a lot of what I'm seeing. Um, the arms take the main color, but there is an off color there as well, which is a green for Ancient Wisdom, which is the shader I'm currently looking at. But overall, it's also really cool because the chest piece and the arms also take the same color, which is a big problem with some other pieces where the arms take a different color than the chest piece. But thankfully, these two combine well together, which means if you're going for a set that utilizes the chest piece and the arms, both of them are going to shader well together thank god and honestly like the helmet for me i just think is just such a banger so i again just pick this armor up please and then last but not least warlocks i unfortunately cannot so like my biggest issue with this armor set is the helmet i think the helmet just looks way too goofy kind of reminds me of the helmet from um oh what's it called uh the cowboy set from the dungeon, I forgot what it's called, but it reminds me of that helmet specifically because that, that cowboy hat also looks goofy in my opinion. So it just kind of reminds me of that same goofiness, but that's kind of like where my like critique stops because the chest piece is so fucking cool. You got the coat with the, or not coat, you, well, you do have a coat, but you do have like the undershirt with the tie and then the coat, like you legitimately look so cool. And again, like I said, the glows is just that. It's a glow that there is no decal underneath that. So don't worry about it. All of this is literally just leather, nothing else, which is really cool. The arms are really cool. The boots are really cool. I even like the bond and the bond usually looks pretty trash. So yeah, I think the arms are really cool. You can definitely utilize that for like an ancient warrior type of thing because that's kind of like the Vem braces that I would see. The boots on the other hand, you can definitely utilize them as well. I would just go for more like a scholarly look because that's kind of the feel that I get from that specifically the chest piece as well like you can definitely go for like a an archaeologist or like an Indiana Jones type thing you can do so much with the chest piece it's so amazing so as for our shaders it's the same thing as the other classes they all shader really well the cool thing is the fact that the chest piece does not have a plate which means there is no off color to that which is really cool and overall like the only thing that I can find people getting annoyed about is the fact that the vem braces or the arms uh the edge trim i guess you would say it takes the off color that's the only thing that i can find that's really really annoying because i know some people find that aggravating the other part is the fact that the boots also have some off coloring as well but overall i think this is a banger set i think the only thing that sucks is the helmet so let me know what you guys think i again let me just reiterate this because i can't say it enough make sure you get this armor because this armor is going away and i do think this is probably some of the coolest armor sets from solstice that we've gotten considering like I don't even remember last year's and i pretty sure i didn't even like last year's but wait i'm pretty sure i mean i'll have an editor's note right now to see because i don't i don't remember off the top of my head which is not a good thing but 
yeah this armor set is super cool hunters titans warlocks you guys got some dope pieces i am excited to see what people do with this armor but i'm also excited to showcase my class specific videos now i will note that because uh, these well because the warlocks uh still have only the white glow i will hold off until that armor set gets fixed because i don't want to have the white glow in that armor so the hunters and titans you guys will probably get your videos between saturday and, and sunday or friday saturday sunday probably one of those days and then warlocks i'm just gonna have to wait until uh, bungie fixes uh the armor and then i'll get started on that video but yeah we're gonna be doing that i'm also working on the other stuff that i'm working on specifically the playlist armor the uh chroma cloak stuff i still haven't done that i have already have the voiceover i just need to edit it which is what i'm going to be doing all day today and tomorrow because it's not just that it's the new exotics as well so i still haven't been working on that i have everything ready i just need to edit everything which is what i'm going to probably be doing all day today and tomorrow so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming up to this point be safe i'll see you guys later